Hi, it's Chris. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new water pump in your Whirlpool built washer. Fairly easy repair and I'll take you through it step by step. In today's repair, you're going to want to remove the power supply from the washer as you're going to be working with some electrical components. To do so, you're just going to remove the plug from the wall and as well turn off your water supply and remove your hoses. Uh, you may also want to uh, take your drain hose and pull it out of your standpipe because we're going to be moving the machine around and laying it down for some of the repair. Now that your machine's been disconnected, we're just going to lay it on its back and you're just going to need a pair of uh, adjustable pliers, a small blade screwdriver, and a 5 16 nut driver. Now there will be some water uh, left over in, your, in this hose that may leak out, so you may want to put a towel down just to catch that. It's not a lot of water, but there will be some. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the bolts for the pump. There's three, they're 5 16 There's one here, one here, and one right down here. So we're just going to remove those. Now with the screws removed, our pump simply pulls out of the bottom of the tub. So now that you have the pump free, we want to remove the drain hose from the pump. And you can see there's just a clamp. We're just going to give that a squeeze with our, our pliers and slide it down the drain hose out of the way. Grip the drain hose and just wiggle the pump off. And there we go. Last thing we need to do is to disconnect the electrical harness. This pump actually has a plastic cover that goes over it. So we just take our small blade screwdriver and pry the locking tab on both sides. The cover then flips up. We're able to see where the electrical connector is. And we just, it's got a little tab on the top that we're just going to depress with our finger. And pull outward. And your harness is removed. And you're able to discard your old pump. To install a new pump, it's just a reverse of the process. We're going to have that cover opened up so we can install our electrical harness. Just going to push that in. There we go, it just slips into place. You can hear the little latch make a little clicking sound so you know it's situated. Take your cover, snap it into place, and your electrical is complete. Now we just need to reinstall the drain hose. And in this case, I think you'll probably find it easier to do that after the pump is in place. So we're simply going to introduce the new pump into the tub. It's just a friction fit. And now we install the screws, the three screws that hold the pump to the tub. Now these screws are going into a plastic tub. Um, one of the things you wanna do when you put the screw in is insert it, turn it counterclockwise until you, you'll actually be able to feel it drop into place and then tighten it up. By doing that, you're using the same threads that the screw originally cut into the plastic. If you don't do that, you may potentially be looking to have the screw create a whole new set of threads, thereby weakening the area that the screw is in, and you may have a problem with them coming loose. One last screw on the bottom. Put it into place, give it that little turn backwards so you feel it drop into the thread, and then tighten it up. It's just that easy. The last thing we need to do is to install our green hose. And we just slide that up into place. Just wiggle it up on there. Take our hose clamp, give it a squeeze, 
slide it up into place. Release it. Your pump is now installed. It's just a matter of putting our machine back up on its feet and reconnecting it. And now that you have the part installed, it's time to hook the machine back up to your water and electrical. Take your cord and plug it back into your wall. Connect your hot and cold water hoses, as well as making sure your drain hose is connected in the back and that the, uh, the end of it is down in the standpipe and secured. And your repair is complete.